Uh, yeah, just a few things, obviously. Uh, still haven't confirmed with Kyle or TQ. Obviously, uh, a lot of stuff floating around. Uh, until, you know, you get through all the doctors um, and all the opinions, we won't have a final word. But uh, both those guys will be out, at least in the short term, for sure. MCL. Is that well, I think in the MCL, again, I'm not a doctor, but an MCL sprain, that's usually what happens. There's varying degrees and where they are on the knee, and that's why I'll let the medical experts handle it. So, you know, a lot of times, um, like we saw during COVID, uh, some amateur doctors um, run with things. And again, I didn't go to medical school. I listened to the experts, and um, obviously I know it's, it's important with a, a guy, a player uh, of Kyle's caliber, and it didn't understand why it's newsworthy and people want to know, but um, not being evasive, Mike, like I told you yesterday, I, I really do. I, I let the guys that are medical experts uh, handle it. How do you, as far as Pitts goes, how, how do you go about replacing what he, you talk so often about how sure. he really is the offense. How do you go about replacing Yeah, him? and the one thing about Kyle, um, while we're so excited about Kyle and why I love working with the guy, he's, has such a in, huge impact on his team. And I know the numbers aren't as gaudy as they were as a rookie. And he's been playing through a lot. And he's a tough, tough guy, and he's had a huge impact. I mean, his hamstring has been, he'd been 100 percent early in the year. Thought uh, Seattle, he was really rolling. And then obviously he was slowed down by a hamstring. And, he, and the guy has been out there fighting with his teammates. And there's a number of reasons. Um, you know, when people just look at the stats, his impact on winning has been enormous for us. Uh, you know, there's certainly times we haven't been in sync. But there's some other things that he, you know, the way we've had to play at times where you are going to sacrifice some passing numbers. But the guy's a great teammate. He doesn't pout uh, like a lot of, you know, guys with that amount of hype because he's a real person. And that's why we love him. And uh, he's a real teammate. And the future is really bright for him. And that's why we're so excited about him in this organization. Just to be clear, because you say he's been playing through a lot, do you mean from an injury perspective? Or? Well, just when a guy is at that speed, you know, where you saw a lot of plays he made last year outside. And we only missed, you know, a brief amount of time. But there's some things he may not have been able to open up with. But he's out there blocking well. And certainly, you know, it's a huge part of our offense, uh, as are a lot of guys. So when you ask about, you know, how do you replace him, well, that's, you know, it's our job to find solutions. And we got the right guys just like we had to do yesterday in game. And I thought Michael Pruitt and Parker uh, played really well. And then, you know, we have other options. And we'll see where Felipe's at, uh, Ferkser. So uh, we'll find a way. That's what it is. Everybody's dealing with something around the league. And just, and just to be clear, are either one of them is the plan to put either one of them on agent this point? We'll have to go through that as, as Terry and I talk through the next 48 hours um, until we get you know confirmation from you know a full set of medical opinions uh, and everybody's on the same page. You know, and then we'll have to decide whether we need to make a move or not. And just because uh, it's a range, I'm just going to make sure we're uh, as accurate as could be. Just say uh, between us, it's, we've seen tear, we've seen sprain, we've seen bone bruise uh, for Kyle, but nothing on uh, TQ. But, yeah, because uh, I don't so think anybody's leaked it out through. about TQ. Uh -huh. I, I don't, you know, I don't think anybody's leaked it. Certainly, you, you guys know how the game's played. You guys talk to the the usual suspects. Mm -hmm. I, so um, obviously, I guess TQ is not high profile enough for his stuff to get leaked. Um, I, I don't I don't know, D -D you know, with that, I mean, again, you can go your own and uh, you, uh, Twitter's still up. Is Twitter still up? Is it running? So I'm sure you can go down that. You can, it's still running. So. I'm not going down that Twitter, that rabbit hole. So, no, in all seriousness, like, if you look at, and I would, I mean, I mean, you look up NCL because there's a lot of, that's how things get spun out of proportion. Um, Certainly different sports, but leave it up to medical experts. We'll, we'll see. With Kyle and kind of the, the respect that he garners defenses, I mean, how much, comparatively speaking, when he's on the field versus when he's not, is attention being put on him by defense? Well, it depends what covers you're in and what they're trying to stop from us. Um, you know, so again, it's our job to find solutions. We've got a lot, of, a lot of good players on this team. And like I said, in the NFL, it's an unfortunate part. Um, it happens, and uh, you wish you had all your guys healthy all year. Uh, but 
certainly we're, we're one of 32 and every every team's got something so it's our job as coaches to find solutions and we got the right guys in here and we'll put a good plan together uh, to go beat Washington and that's our job I know I asked you about the depth at defensive line last night but upon review I mean how much did guys like Timmy Horn and Jalen Dalton and Abdullah Anderson really step up to kind of help out when TQ gets carted off. Yeah, uh, big time. I mean, Timmy Horn's a guy that gets better every week. He's in there grinding it out. It was a physical game. Uh, Abdullah, he's in there, tough, tough player. Uh, stuff that happens inside when you're close to the football, that's not for everybody. Uh, that's why I love guys like Abdullah that go in there and grind it out, TQ and, and all those guys up front. Uh, so I try not to be biased, but I, I do have a – Great appreciation for the guys that mix it up in there. And uh, Jalen Dalton, same thing, you know, altered that last throw. Made the, made the ball go high on, on Montgomery, and he had a big part of it, the way we were rushing. And Jalen uh, altered the throw and was able, Hawk was able to pick it off. So I'm very pleased with those guys. With Michael Pruitt, um, you said last night that he was doing some things, I think your word was like the nuances of the game that people yeah. don't necessarily look at. What are some of those things that may go overlooked? Well, Michael, he, he uh, you know, I was with him in Tennessee. Um, we brought him in when uh, Delaney got hurt uh, after opening day in 18. And, and Mike Vrabel had been with him in Houston. And he had been around. And I know some guys that had coached him in Chicago and in Minnesota. Uh, he was a very productive player coming out of college. He's a very powerful guy. And he's, even as a veteran in some of the schemes we've asked, he's improved a lot. He's a heavy-handed player. He's got a great feel for space. He's a natural athlete, played multiple sports in high school. Um, smart player, too. So, you know, he had the one we had on the movement pass yesterday. He caught it's a big play, got the drive started. Uh, we scored the touchdown on. And you could see when guys try to tackle him, the way he finished that one. Um, like I said, a heavy-handed player, smart player. We'll try to find a. Uh, more roles for him, and same thing with Parker Hesse. He's done a lot of the dirty work. And we got other guys, you know. Hopefully, we get Felipe back and and uh, Ferkser. So we'll, we'll see. With two play offense, this might shift more attention to Drake London from defenses now. Do you have to kind of? He's still a rookie, and the fact that you have to like kind of talk to him and prep him potentially. No, to Drake, that. Tricks. He's wired the right way. No. And then we got, like I said, I mean, we we play a certain way. It's getting late in the year. Uh, it's a huge game for us coming up against Washington. They're playing well. Expected to be another physical battle. You know, they they've kind of changed their approach. They're they're running the ball a ton too. Um, like I said, they got us here last year. Uh, you know, Heineke at the end, and it's a big game for both of us. Right there, they're six and five, and we're right there five and six. And it's, a, it's what you want. You want to be in games that matter this time of year as you're getting into the uh, Thanksgiving in December. So we're excited about it. You mentioned Taylor Heineke. He ran for, I think it was eight and a half yards on you guys last year on a couple carries. Defensively, how do you kind of build on what you guys did against yeah. Justin Fields and, and kind of continue that? Yeah, they're very different players. Um, but, you know, he can extend plays. Well, he did a great job. I mean, everybody saw him in that Monday night game, keeping drives alive and tough player. I got an appreciation for, him. Uh, you know, a guy that's waited his turn, you know, sat, came back. Uh, reminds me of Fitzpatrick, Ryan Fitzpatrick a little bit. Uh, tougher than hell. Uh, not afraid to make any throw, and, and you can see why his teammates love him. So, we, you know, it, 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 he's a, does a nice job extending plays, and if you're not coordinated in your rush game it's, and you get out of there and you create space, he can make you pay. And he did that last year to us. What are the challenges of, like, a Thanksgiving week just on getting guys kind of heads in right. the game? and? Not getting distracted with that. Yeah, that's part of you know being a pro. But those, those distractions, get, you know, if you like I said yesterday, if you if you let them, because usually everybody's schedule is a little bit different when you come in there. People have family in town, and you know you go home. It's not a normal Wednesday, and if you let those things become a distraction, it shouldn't. But you can see how it happens, and so that's a big part of our job and our focus. One more Thanksgiving question: What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Uh, I I really don't discriminate if you can look at me. So. <laughs> uh, Pumpkin pie, maybe? I don't know. Depends. Are you a coach of um, Washington, but kind of watching them the last couple of weeks? And Robinson looks like he's um, yeah. taking on them. He has. Got him and Gibson kind of yeah, both good players. 
yeah, it's, uh, it's, it started running the ball a lot, and then obviously Heineke making making big plays. They got a good receiving core. Uh, it's a good team. It's a good roster. Uh, you know, they got a million first round picks up front, the defensive uh, line, and they're all good players. So we'll have to see. You know, obviously they get Chase Young back. It's one more good player they can put up there. So we, it's it's a good. It'll be a fun challenge. It'll be a fun challenge at this time of year. Their offensive skill position players. Does it kind of remind you in some ways of what you're trying to do also with the amount of guys that they have that can kind of be put in multiple spots and have played di- multiple positions? Even a Logan Thomas, who still yeah, I think they started as a quarterback. Yeah, you know, um, obviously we have Kyle Smith here, who was a big part of that personnel department and some of the stuff they did. And I don't, you know, again they changed staff, so I don't, you know, from Jay. Gruden to what Ron Rivera and his staff, what they've wanted to do. I, I don't know all those answers. I think it's a lot of it's just kind of the talent level coming out. Uh, but obviously, Gibson's a guy that I'm very familiar with coming out of the University of Memphis. Uh, he's from here, right, D-Led? Yeah. Yeah. Huntley. yeah. The Duke told me he was his buddy, uh, Huntley. <laughs> Call him the Duke now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Duke told me he, he knows him. But uh, great player. Uh, knew a lot about him coming out of Memphis. A guy that could play multiple spots, like you said. Um, yeah, good, good skills. It's a good roster. Any, I mean, any memories? Have you been back there yet as a coach? At some uh, point? Was last yeah. Uh, it's been a while, right? It's been a while. Yeah, it was a bad game. It was in uh, 14. I uh, believe yeah, another local guy, Whitehurst, I believe, started that game. I think it was in 2014, I believe. Any, any memories for you to going back there? Because since that's where it's Sure, the yeah, the yeah, absolutely. Um, Got a lot of buddies up there. Uh, hopefully, I'll get to see. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving weekend, there's a lot of people there. It's kind of a second home for me. So, yeah, I mean, there's, there's a lot of good memories, you know. Uh, working for Joe Gibbs, uh, very, very fond members. But how the rookie uh, DNs doing, AK and Malone? Right well, on. they're playing. Uh, those guys are getting better every week. I thought AK, uh, you know, we had him as our player of the game. Uh, just some stuff he's. It's gotten better. Got got a sack. Should have had, should have had another one, but you got to get Justin credit. I mean, that was maybe the longest play in NFL history. Uh, I mean, it felt like both teams were in the mud at that point. Uh, but he's playing really well. I and mean, in some of the subtle stuff he's doing, that can af- when you coordinate certain games that he's doing, that uh, I appreciate about him. And him and D'Angelo, they're fun to work with. Uh, all those all those young guys, Troy. Uh, they had a big impact on yesterday's one. And uh, yesterday, you, you uh, were you talking about the personnel department and the common vision, mm-hmm. and uh, you glad it didn't feel like Capitol Hill. And the owner started laughing it, with yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> well, maybe because we're going up to Washington this week. I don't know. Maybe it just uh, uh, being a guy that's you know, pol- political science major and lived up in D.C. off and on for seven years. Uh, yeah, I use that reference, I guess. But um, two things. Could you articulate the common vision? I mean, we do it, you know, we do it at sure. periodic times. But, yeah. And then second, I think we're referring to people lobbying for their viewpoints, not being Capitol yeah. Hill. Yeah, well, that happens. I mean, I think if you let ego get in the way, I mean, we're all going to make mistakes. You know, I'm not going to call a perfect game, and we're not going to have – you're not going to bat a 1,000 on draft picks. Or, you know, if you sign a guy in free agency, it's the fine line and when to – when to turn the page so you don't let one mistake become two. You can see people that's happened all over the history of pro sports. Um, it's hard, you know, because you can make a subjective argument anyways. Hey, you give them more time or, you know, you move on too quick. Or, or, or you know, these guys keep them when you know he can't get played and it takes three different position coaches before you realize the guy can't play. I've seen that before too. So when you got guys and, and you get opinions and you can disagree, but at the end of the day you make decisions and you move forward, that's what you're looking for. Easier said than done. And uh, we have a great staff over there. Like I said, they found guys from everywhere, right? We've gotten D offered uh, futures from the you know CFL, and the list goes on and on and on. You know, Felipe, a guy that's been a valuable roster player, was a quarterback coming in here. Um, all kind of guys, Jalen Dalton, guys, Timmy Horn, uh, Bernie. I mean, all these guys that we have. Uh, even a guy like Avery, the impact he's had. As a late round pick, DB, Turner, 
been a good player for in those offense. But th that's what I appreciate about those guys. And you're just, we're just looking for guys to help. And then you, it's our job as coaches to make sure that we develop every guy on this roster. And so that's what I appreciate about that staff. And, uh, uh, Dalton was a kid, you know, looked big, good looking kid. And Coach Emmanuel said he was hurt and you know, they, they kept track of him or something. Just how's he doing? Because it's hard to see what Jalen. Yeah. Yeah. He's what, you know, referring to earlier. I mean, he's gotten better. Um, you know, obviously. Unfortunately, he was hurt in a couple of preseasons, and uh, knew a lot about him. He was, you know, a North Carolina guy, um, so he's, you know, taking advantage of his opportunity. He came back. You know, he unfortunately got hurt in our preseason. He came back, and he, first time he's seen uh, live action. He's getting better every week. I think it was Brady that was talking after the game last night. He said something along the lines of like, "We're a better team when CP's on the field," and I feel like that's not something that you take lightly from. Brady sure. Jarrett, what does that say about kind of not just what CP does for you, but how the locker room kind of rallies around him as well? Well, I mean, he's a veteran guy. And so guys that have, you know, you get to that point in your career, there's a reason you hang around this game. You know, you don't, it's, it's hard enough to play in the NFL to make it one season. And when you become a veteran like that, then you're, you're still productive. It's one thing to be a veteran, but if you're, you're not really playing a lot, you know, guys like you, but they don't necessarily listen to you a, a ton. Uh, but when you're that productive, it helps. And uh, like I said, I, I was glad he got the, got the opportunity to return on a kick. And obviously, he, he's on record in the way he's wired. You know, he went back there, and uh, it was a hell of a play by a lot of people. Troy Anderson had a, a great block on that play. He almost fell down. He gets up. Those are things that go unnoticed. He's able to make the block. Mike Ford at the end. So it was we needed it, you know. Those are those are momentum as the game was going back and forth, and it was a huge play for us. I asked CP had said before the season that if he got one more, he would. CP stop. tells you guys a lot of things. Oh, I know. Great, well, but he also said that he he's, he's, he's great for you guys. Uh, he is. And that's why we love him. He's, he's <laughs> funny. He's a funny, funny guy. Uh, CP is a great teammate. CP is yeah. gonna like like all our guys. They're wired the right way, and they'll do what whatever they, they think will help us win uh, as a team. And that will be the same thing in terms of kick returns. So, again, it. Retire the kick returns. No. <laughs> We're going to do what's best for the team. If it's carrying the ball 30 times, probably won't go back there. If it's a got to have it situation or, you know, depending on the plan that week, the game plan, talking over through Marquise, we'll, we'll see. You know, it's like I said he tells you guys a lot of things and uh, – that's why we love him. He's, I mean, he makes you, I'm probably sure he makes y'all's job easier.